All right, today is Saturday, March 23rd, 2019. Just want to do a quick video here, update what I've done to this car. Uh, been chipping away, making progress all around the car um, over the past week or so. So uh, what I did first is uh, I ran all the wiring for the motor. Um, I used some, some type of loom. It's, it's not really loom, it's kind of braided, black braided tied into the uh, uh, steering column boot with some little nylon tabs there. Stole that idea from a friend of mine. Uh, ran the uh, wiper motor wire. So those wires come around here. You got the starter starter wires. So you got your purple and, and, and your red. Go straight to the alternator. I did uh, mount a, a ground strap. So I uh, use a little Dremel with a little sanding, sanding disc type deal and, and scuff the paint up to bare metal, ran the ground. Uh, what else did we do? I ran the electric choke wire, um, ran the temperature sending unit wire, green. Uh, I didn't run a cold um, on the instrument cluster I just ran a hot don't really need a cold so uh, only one wire to that and uh, of course the alternator wire straight from the starter uh, post so the wiring's done I did uh, I did wire up the uh, power window I mean I'm sorry, I'm sorry. wiper motor uh, my grommets hadn't come in yet so that's kind of just sitting in there until my grommet comes in a grommet for the uh, e-brake cable um, and speedometer cable so so I did the wiring um, everything appears to work um, I did bump it over last night I don't have any spark plug wires yet but I did bump it over last night with a battery and just hit it with the key one time to see if it would bump and it, it did bump so we have power to the to the starter and, and using the key so we're good on that uh, and then I got my radiator earlier this week so I mounted that. Um, debating on painting the top side um, black or not. I just kind of threw it on there today, but actually it doesn't really look that bad um, with the raw aluminum. Let's see, I did have to, so I used the top mount is okay. I did have to drill out the bottom mount, uh, both sides. And then I believe I had to notch it over here. This is a three row aluminum radiator. I had to notch it right there to clear the, uh, radiator support um, clears the 500 gearbox really good got plenty of room I mean yeah, the notch is kind of in the wrong spot but if it wasn't notched it, it would hit it would definitely hit right here so so that's good no problems with that fit right on um, it's really close on the fan shroud so I might I might shim the radiator up a little bit more it's it's really close right here it's probably less than a quarter inch um, so I might shim that up, just got it kind of mocked up, got the hoses hooked up, got the transmission cooling lines hooked up. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Bled the brakes today. Took quite a while. I had one of the banjo fittings on, on the passenger side front. I had it on backwards and it was leaking, couldn't figure out why. So I did that same thing on the, on my old 62, put it on backwards. So. Uh, whatever shouldn't learn from that time uh, so the Blake the, the brakes are bled I don't know if they're quite roadworthy yet um, you know won't know until I start the car and drive it but uh, up on jacks the wheels do stop when you push the pedal so that's good uh, more in the front than the back um, last night I cleaned the white walls I used some stuff over here it's called awesome got a dollar general it's a dollar for this whole bottle and you're supposed to dilute it but I sprayed it on concentrate I use that with a, a mr. clean magic eraser and man it really it really did wonders on the white walls I mean these things have zero miles but they were starting to brown made in China but uh, the magic eraser and that awesome stuff man worked really good really really good uh, so Let's see, I got the gas tank installed. Uh, I, I did put about five gallons of gas in it today. No leaks on the filler neck or anything like that. 
So the gas tank's done. Uh, I need to put the spark plug wires on. Uh, I need to put some transmission fluid in it. And I went to Napa, I got a brand new battery. The other battery was, I had to charge it every time I wanted to use it. So between a battery, several quarts of transmission fluid, some dielectric grease and some coolant, I spent $225 at Napa today, which is nuts. Um, but that's what stuff costs these days. I also did uh, throw in my back seat. So I, uh, I got my side, side panels in, I got my rear speaker wire ran. Uh, it's kind of just thrown in there right now. Um, I don't have a speaker yet, but I did run the wire under the carpet so I could I could finish up the carpet job. So I got the side panels, uh, got the seat in, got the carpet trimmed in the back half. Um, that's what it looks like. Got my uh, side pieces that are just kind of stuffed in there right now. They're not really screwed in, but so got half the interior done. Uh, not much left to where I could start this thing up, put some water in the radiator to run it first, and then put the spark plug wires, and we should be able to start it. Uh, I'm still debating on what I'm going to do about exhaust. I don't know if I'm going to do a bolt-on stainless kit or take it somewhere. I really don't want anybody welding on the frame, so leaning more towards the bolt-on stainless kit, even though it's more money. I don't know, I'm gonna have to sleep on that, but uh, that's the updates uh, for this past week. Getting really close. I may fire it up tomorrow, may not, just depends on how I feel. I'm not in a rush. I really don't wanna fire it up without, without exhaust, um, but I may bump it over and, and see what happens, see if I get fuel to the carburetor and, and all that. So, uh, got my dogs hanging out. That's one, the other over there is staring at us while we're worldwide. Uh, so that's uh, that's it for this week. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.